and three, two, one, boom, and we're back to another episode of Credit Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zen Real Coke and Co. ZenRealCokeAndCo.com. Pick up your teas and support the podcast by using offer code SG Podcast for twenty percent off your order. Oh no, select items. Sorry, not your total order. Select items. Um, yeah. So we're back with the Socratic dialogue. Um, this one is on the Mandalorian, but I'm sure we're gonna get into like Disney Plus stuff, anyways. So um, first things first. Have you? What do you think of Mandalorian? We're in episode three now. Yeah, we just finished watching episode three, so it's all spoilers here. Yeah, 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 super spoilers. So watch out for that. Actually, no, no. Before we even talk about that, let's talk about the uh, monopoly that Disney has on the market now. Well, the growing monopoly. So I was like, so we were talking about Disney Plus at at like work, this like lunch thing. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, like doesn't Disney own like forty percent of the market now? D- does it? I don't know. I was gonna ask you. So. Uh, probably something like that. I mean, in in the movie world, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that's what they were talking about. So like, now that they're so. diversifying into like like this live streaming not live streaming uh this streaming platform yeah um now apparently like like they're they're such a powerhouse and yeah. like they're 40 percent of the market right now for things that are owned entertainment wise mm-hmm. so that's almost that's almost a monopoly right because you're like if you get like 50 or higher like I you think basically it's dominate 70, the market right? right for a monopoly yeah or is like it that. oligopoly no oligopoly is like you own everything yeah I think it had to be like 70%. Okay, so that's the rule. Because I was like, oh, okay, are we hitting almost that point? Were they? Yeah. But you know... Even Amazon's in that field too, right? Exactly, yeah, totally, totally. But it's Close interesting to. when you when you think about like how... Okay, so it's like 40%, but that's all they're reporting on. Because it's like, what about the side deal? So it's like, if my son owns a different part of the... Like, different company, but we don't claim it under disney it's still technically under our rule you see what i'm saying it's like it's like arms reach yeah, this could be some loopholes around there sure you know what i mean like so it's like yeah you own like 40 percent of the market but that doesn't like take into account the arms reach mm-hmm. so yeah just thought that was pretty interesting um overall what do you think about disney plus so far uh satisfied unsatisfied i'm pretty good with it yeah i like it too it's nice it's just going back to all these old things that you like watch as a child yeah totally it's the nostalgia that's really like has a lot of people i think they had uh what i read was like in the first date already 10 million subscribers oh wow and it's only out currently i believe only out in three countries and i think maybe wow okay i think i think end of this week it should be at maybe about five countries nice yeah but do you think it's like better than netflix like do you use netflix more or less um i'm mixing both i guess okay Uh, there's not enough new content yet because it's just started right 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 so it's like if you're gonna watch disney plus you're just watching like the old stuff yeah old stuff the only thing new mainly that i'm liking is mandalorian right there is some other couple new episodes no new shows on there but that's not an interest to me okay but are they they primarily focusing on like created content yeah so they are there will be a bunch of new content probably by the end of the year like proprietary i guess that's yes what you call it. their own yeah yeah okay cool okay so let's get into mandalorian so what do we oh actually no actually let's go back so so i guess they're like following the exact model of netflix then because netflix is putting out some crazy movies like that ryan reynolds one with the parkour guy that i said mm-hmm um yeah that one looks really good With and it's like the wow, they're doing like yeah. yeah they're doing like some crazy production value stuff and netflix has also got witcher so it'll be interesting yeah. to see where all these things go you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you know it'll be really interesting like all right so how much do people usually pay for cable uh like 60 bucks let's say yeah that's probably low but yeah it's probably low but okay so 60 dollars per month so then when netflix came out everyone's like oh sweet like i'm just gonna pay like Fourteen ninety nine, yeah. you know, and then like then all these other platforms like you have Crave and like Amazon Prime and like uh, now Disney Plus. So it's like at the end of it, you're gonna have like the plethora of platforms mm-hmm. at the same price as paying cable, except it's way better. Uh, it's still technically cheaper, but the thing is, the benefits here are that you can always unsubscribe anytime. Totally, yeah. So yeah, that's sure, the sure. thing that you couldn't do with cable. Do you, Do you think um, like regular media is dead? 
like i don't even know why people still pay for ads like for me like actually especially like a marketer yeah, yeah, on yeah. TV? we're talking about like no there's still like, there, why? Uh, there's still a huge market still there even though it's it's it is declining it's still a big like the numbers are declining but the numbers are still big right i guess i guess maybe we're in that transitionary period where it's like still the baby boomers are the ones who watch tv yeah you know but then like when you get the millennials they're not watching tv as much so it's like oh, what's the point in the future of paying for ads like it's definitely on its way out mm -hmm. i think no it is it is it is i mean you can already see them uh uh creating their own uh type of uh pla like uh type of like netflix sort of thing right uh for their own stuff um but i don't know how well they're doing in that way you know, it'd be really cool because i was like i was just thinking the only thing that i'm i'm missing out for cable is local news mm -hmm. but like it'd be cool to have like a dedicated tv somewhere on this wall that's just streaming like cp24 mm-hmm but then that would kind of feel like a dentist office or something. It <laughs> yeah. kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, that's Twitter for me. I get all my news from Twitter. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Even, like, um, the the TTC stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think that was, like, beneficial until, like, I started taking it more. And then, like, uh, like uh, Tara was like, oh, watch out. There's, like, um, a delay. So when I was going home, I, I was using the Twitter feed to be like, okay, is this the... Like, oh, yeah. good time to go home right now because, like, something was <laughs> broken down. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Twitter is the way for me. I feel like we're we're looking for faster and faster means to, like, access our data yeah, and information. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, yeah, we're slowly getting there. I don't know. I feel like news channels are still... It'll be fascinating to see, like, a 24-hour a YouTube news channel. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Instead of, like, CP24 because <laughs> right. we're in toronto right yeah like, so that's our local news but like if they had like a, a local news channel that was like streamed on youtube that'd be pretty sick yeah that'd be cool because they have those like those like chill those chill playlists mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. chill cow and then all they're doing is playing like music for 24 7 it's like live mm -hmm. yeah, yeah sort yeah. of like that i mean they might do something like that I don't know. Like they have to Venture. in order for them to survive, they will need to do something. Yeah. And I, I also get like my local entertainment stuff from like um Instagram, like blog to mm -hmm. you know. Um which which actually got me like thinking about like consumer, like how we consume social media. Because I was listening to the way people like use social media, right? Like so it's like, well, why would you post? Right. For you, you don't really post because it's like, well, I, I don't really do anything on there. You know what I mean? So yeah. you use it as like a, a resource. Yeah. I use it as like a platform and a resource because like I'll, I'll find my news out there, but like I use this platform to like get ideas out there. Mm -hmm. But like I just don't like from a, there's like also the consumer level where it's like you're posting about your life. Yeah. Like I never really understood personally when people are like, oh, uh, like FOMO or like, um, like showing your best life on like social yeah, media yeah, yeah. right because i don't really follow those kinds of people so it's like mm -hmm. you know i feel like the issues that we have would easily be resolved with your follow list just don't follow those people yeah but yeah that, that's technically what happens i guess yeah. but then i, th I thought this was kind of funny because like i was listening to people how they use it and they're like oh like i love the mute button because like you follow somebody because it's like polite but then you just like use the mute button so <laughs> but i'm like just don't follow them then it's weird oh that's funny yeah anyways or this is a cool idea uh if somebody listens to podcast and creates it oops for your idea that just got out but it'd be cool if instagram had groups you know like twitter has groups so like you can adjust your feed according to the group so it's like groups i don't know what so group. okay like like uh, just think of it like like if you click on this group, it'll only have things related to this topic. So it's like you'll you'll create a group of news feed, you'll create a group of tech, you'll create a group of friends and family. Mm -hmm. So rather than like with Instagram, you're seeing all of it at once. You can click on like different groups and then see different segments of your follow list. Okay. Twitter does it. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I don't use it that much. I just go to like the. I normally just look at the the news section or the trending section. Okay, so that that would, uh, that would technically 
it's like that's similar to groups but not really mm-hmm. because like you're you're getting like a live feed but yeah. like groups would be like you you're lumping the whoever you want into a specific group yeah okay. category you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that'd be kind of cool for instagram too but i mean i wouldn't use it because like yeah. i only follow people that i don't i don't I like about. i spend i don't know it's just i feel like that's a little too much time of me spending on it like doing all like that. organizing it yeah, yeah organizing yeah, it because i don't really care to do that i just well it's for like news it's for like media people because like we we would use groups so okay. it's like if you're following like political candidates you're like okay i need to segment them into like okay regions so okay. it's like yeah, this yeah. is ontario this is like quebec you mm-hmm. know what i mean and mm-hmm. then you could filter it's just easier but like yeah i guess the end consumer wouldn't really wouldn't really use it too much yeah no i just want to see what's the memes going around in the world and uh... Like, that's basically world which, news. So. Which is also kind of funny. Like, you're like, oh, I just want to see the memes. Like, like we as a species, like, as, as a collective group, mm-hmm. I kind of feel like we don't want to hear the bad news. You know, it's it's sort of like we're watching Chernobyl right now and I'm having a hard time watching it, right? Because <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, see this. Like, I want to yeah. watch things like House of Lies, right? Uh-huh. But it's like, we as a, like, we don't want to see negativity to the extreme. We don't right. want to see the reality of the situation yeah. or else we'd all be caring about climate change because it's like we try and deaden our experience, mm-hmm. you know? We we all seek entertainment yeah. ultimately, oh, yeah. you know? And then there's just like the the small group at the top that's pushing things around. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So it's like why isn't climate change solved? It's it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm reading, I'm reading another book right now about um, uh, about this like it's the Green New Deal or something mm. like that. Oh yeah, it's about like oh you heard of that? No, I mean I knew about the Green New Deal. I have no idea what that is. I just saw yeah. this book on climate change. I was like, oh, I'll read. That's it. what I think AOC pushed for. Okay, so sure. that's why I knew. I guess again, I, I in politics. So it's in the world of politics. That's why I know about it. Oh okay, cool, cool, cool. So like with that, it's like they're trying to adjust our actions towards climate change but it's like at the end of the day it's really the cons- uh, the producers that can affect climate change not the end consumer so think about it like, like this yeah. right if you're so this is this is why climate change is so difficult right because like if you if you create a product that uses climate change that like enhances climate change all right or you have like a green product right Mm -hmm. so like if you really want to stop climate change you just take away the ability to use products that support climate change yeah right so like like if instead of giving consumers like 10 options just give them one option and then your climate change is usually solved yeah right because it's like okay so like if these cause climate change just don't use them anymore and then here you go and then we'd all be like oh sweet like you know, mm-hmm. we're, we're fixing the problem. But the problem becomes, then you take away the ability of capitalism. Then you become more socialist, right? Mm-hmm. Because then you're like, you're making, you're forcing the business producers to follow a certain thing. So you have like totalitarian governments. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like if the government's so strong and they're like, you, you can never use any climate change related material to create products anymore. Mm-hmm. And then we're like, okay, cool. But then that's like a that's a total system of governance where it's like you have no more freedoms, yeah, right, mm-hmm. it, right. So, so if that is the solution, it almost makes sense why we had kings back in the day, because the peasants can make the decision. It's the ruler. Yeah. The only issue is who's going to be your ruler. Yeah. Right. And that's why we'll never solve it, because we want our cake and we want to eat it too. We need to be ruled in order to solve it, but we don't want to choose a single ruler, <laughs> right? The paradox. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's a whole different world. I don't know. They all make these, what do you call those, like that Paris Climate Agreement or like... Yeah, but like still you have the ability. So even if you make the climate agreement, right, mm. you still have the option of use, like supporting climate change with your products. Yeah. I mean, like using oil still, like you still have that, that ability, right? Mm-hmm. So you can sign the agreement all you want, but it's like you're you have to follow through with it. And yeah, 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 basically, yeah. 
Yeah. Too much freedoms. Anyways, that's not what we came here to talk no. about. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Okay, so Mandalorian, what do you think? I'm liking it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Score? Let's treat it like a movie. Score it, review it, score well, it. Based again. on the first three episodes? I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know, eight, I guess. Wow. Okay, six. Okay. Okay, so why do you like it so much? Uh, I, I find it I just like it. I, f- I find it like bland. Like, I like it because of the nostalgia of Star Wars. I'm like, oh, cool Star Wars. But, like, as a s- story itself, I'm kind of like, uh. Well, especially after the third episode, I don't know where it's going. Oh, with him, like, getting back um, Young Yoda. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> Young Yoda. Yeah, Baby Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But do, what do you think about, like, the lack of talking? I kind of like it. Okay. Well, what do you think about, like, the fight scenes? I find them kind of, like, comic y and, like, clunky yeah it feels like more like the old star wars yeah it does it does and i think think that's that's what's giving me an issue i'm like ah it's so like yeah i kind of like the latest one where like the whole bunch of the other ones i was just expecting them to show up oh the other mandalorians yeah yeah just to protect them i like the thing i really like about mandalorian the show is like the culture of the mandalorians so that to me is cool but i mean like the actual show itself i'm like (laughs) uh Right. It feels like the old Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it's that's what it's meant to do, I think. So, from that perspective, like, yeah, it's good, but mm-hmm. simultaneously, it's like, uh, I feel like we've evolved. Like, even the fight scenes are very slow. Like, if you look at the newest Star Wars, like, those lightsaber battles are amazing. Yeah. But it feels like they didn't do that for the show. You know what I mean? But they're lightsaber guys. These are not. <laughs> no, no, right, right. But, like, like, remember when they did the hand-to-hand combat scene when he was, like... Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, uh, Yeah, but I don't think sorry. these are like, I don't know, like, what, I don't know what basic, I don't know a lot of information behind, like, the, like, what their culture is or anything like that, but, like, I wouldn't match them with Jedi masters. Right, right. Okay. I, I feel that. Yeah. They kind of remind me of, like, Halo ODSTs. Yeah. Right, right? <laughs> like, it's everyone's like a Halo. Like, oh, yeah, a Spartan, they do. Right? Yeah, yeah, They're Spartans. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's funny. And then they get to like upgrade their armor and stuff. I wonder if that's where like Halo got its ideas from. You know what I mean? Like I the mean, creators, all, like oh yeah, J- like all, Django Fett. Uh, right. I mean, they all learn from each other. Each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah like true, there's true. people's influenced by different things, and then that kind of wants them to write their own kind of story. Yeah, yeah. Based true. on their own influences, so it depends, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where, where do you think you think we're gonna see a Jedi in it? I don't know. Uh, maybe I mean, I don't isn't know. it weird that Yoda, baby Yoda, is a Jedi? Well, he's using the Force, and it's kind of like what? Well, they're like, uh, so the, I think I was, I was like reading a bunch of these things about like uh, uh, the Yoda species. There's still no name for them. Okay. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so they call them the Yoda species or something like that. Okay. <laughs> that was clever. Yeah. Uh, and then they, it's like um, they have the. So we know the spectrum of light and dark. So they, okay. the way that they are like evolved, they're m- more inclined to the light side. So that's why they oh, have the force. Oh, that's cool. That's why they're, yeah, they're like that. But like Yoda in that, the latest Star Wars episode, um, yeah, I guess episode, it's like a movie, but they're like episode one, two, three, four, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he was talking about like being gray, like no light and dark, but it's like, embracing your dark Mm -hmm. did you ever watch the uh last the last couple episodes of star wars clone wars no okay so so that's my plan to do with this disney plus to watch all the clone wars okay oh well all right there's a lot of clone wars but (laughs) i know the last like four episodes (laughs) are amazing because like yoda goes into his mind Mm -hmm. and he he faces his dark his dark evil side because like he has like transcenders like like, to Mm -hmm. unlock his powers Mm -hmm. and whatever okay so like he faces the dark side in him mm-hmm. and then he's like trying to battle it and he's like i can't spoiler alert i can't defeat it so he absorbs the darkness inside of him he's like why am i trying to fight you you are me right and then that's why in the latest star wars movie it's like it's not about good versus evil it's about like balance you need mm-hmm. to bring balance to the force okay hmm. interesting right mm-hmm. it's a cool perspective on it so the other thing i was reading about with the yoda species is uh nobody knows where their homeland is and yoda never told anyone oh really yeah oh 
because they're like a peaceful type of people. Is, and, is uh, this show going to affect the next movie though? I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm not sure if it's going to connect or not. Cause but, it's like, yeah. are we just going to lose the idea of baby Yoda? Like what's going on? Uh, it might be, it might come. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, I have no or idea. Maybe that's like episode, like they're the setting one... up for like the next trilogy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. That's why I'm just interested. Yeah. The thing, I guess what attracted a lot of people or shocked a lot of people was having young uh, baby Yoda. True. Yeah. Yeah. True. That and was, then, that is pretty cool. I, I didn't expect that at all. So, but all right. So, so what do you like better? Do you like the movie or the show better? Oh, and better in like, like do you do you remember the recent movie? Yeah, there was trash. Yeah, I was that, like, oh, that was wasn't like that horrible. good. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. So, like, do you think they can redeem it if you go show versus movie? Because you have more options for stories, and then you can like evolve it over time. It's sort of like it's sort of like what's better, watching an hour and a half long movie or watching a series of an hour and a half long movies like Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah like i feel like game of thrones is like a series of movies uh i guess yeah but i don't, I don't know i mean they're all different in their own aspect i guess it's yeah true yeah say. okay I, I see what you're saying all right so i guess my better question is do you prefer movies or like shows uh i like shows yeah i feel like it's more robust right because like you yeah. have to wait so much longer for like a movie to come out yeah. Like imagine if if Witcher, You're in, and you can't tell the best story yeah. right within an hour and a half, yeah. or even let's say three hours. Okay, it's two yeah, two true. episodes. Yeah. You know. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, the shows. You're you know for me it's more about like I'm in the world longer. Yeah, totally. But the only problem is if you stay too long in the world. You know what I mean? Like a show needs to know when it should end. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I love those like twenty six episode long shows where it's like this is the whole thing. That's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought you were talking about like something else, but yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's. But in general, there are technically like that, right? Like a lot of the HBOs are like each season is about ten episodes. No, but but I mean like like Samurai Champloo, um, yeah, Cowboy Bebop. It's all just like one thing. Mm-hmm. Like twenty four episodes, and we're done. You know, there's not a lot of those, but yeah, yeah there aren't a lot of those, but like I prefer that. Yeah, yeah. So, I agree. <laughs> so is this your favorite Mandalorian so far? It's the only Mandalorian I know, I guess. No, Boba Fett, Jango Fett. Uh, I don't know much about. Like, I forgot about them. Their stories. Oh, okay. <laughs> again, uh, I don't really know too. Again, I'm just I'm enjoying the journey, I guess. So Jango, Jango Fett is the per is the original Mandalorian. Well, there's a bunch of Mandalorians, but like they make yeah clones of. Actually, I guess it's, it's better to put it like this. The Mandalorian, so Django was a Mandalorian, and then they made the Stormtroopers off of Django. And Boba is a is, is, is his son. Yeah, his son, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then this guy is just like a random Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did you think of the new armor when he switched it up? I it looked cool. I was kind of like, uh, yeah. I like the ruggedness of the old armor. I get it. I mean, it's like yeah. too shiny. You know what I mean? Oh, I like it. I like it. And it makes sense. But what are they doing with the, the armor? Yeah, like what is that? It just like powers up. Like he gets like he gets like an upgrade. Like you're getting an upgrade in this character right now. <laughs> okay. You know, it's literally that's, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. You know, because they gave him a new weapon. Remember, he's like these are the whistlers or whatever. But didn't they say like this is gonna also help the people or help their people? Like I don't understand that. Some of the money is not not all the money was used or like. Oh, no. I didn't get that. It's weird. <laughs> John Favreau, right? Wrote yeah, it. I know, I know. I didn't expect that it was him who wrote it and directing these things. You know, it'd be really cool if, like, if like, uh, it got more like plot twisty, mm-hmm. like more like a like a Game of Thrones style. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I the, sometimes it's always the first season that they need to know. They can't go too crazy yet. Right, right. Well, actually, Game of Thrones did that though. Uh. No, because that was already a book, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And so the market some, was there. This is also something new for Disney. And they right. kind of don't want to... Like, they want to see it be successful first, and they can do these sort of things. Right, right. That makes sense. True, yeah, yeah. It's weird how that happens, though, eh? You got to, like, really hedge your bets. Yeah. You know? You got to really, like, be pragmatic in the beginning. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not too sure. 
something's gonna work but i mean at the same time like witcher got signed on for a second season so it's like what does that mean yeah maybe that was done really well sometimes you know and sometimes you don't know if it's gonna do well or not right true are you stoked for witcher yeah i'm excited to see that yeah do you think we'll ever like with the space car like i wonder space car like uh, sorry not space car uh, the spacex uh spacex and the tesla new car wonderful yeah. yeah i wonder if we'll ever like actually hit that that space where it's like it's very much like the star warsy future you know <laughs> i don't know i mean star wars is, is a mix of old and new right? but but you know like after watching chernobyl i'm kind of like i can see that happening mm-hmm. like we're all gonna have to wear like armor to like protect ourselves from the radiation okay you know what i mean like yeah. imagine if like something crazy happens like we all start to have to wear armor and stuff and suits <laughs> i could see it yeah yeah i mean i don't know how uh, you know i don't know maybe yeah maybe climate change would make us do that yeah no yeah for real right like yeah. you know what i mean like we're gonna start wearing like different things to go out safely into nature mm-hmm. something like that yeah um yeah i don't know but i guess we'll see so all right after that score did it increase or decrease it's the same still late it's not done yet right so that's the thing like sometimes like for, for game right, of thrones right. it, it's it like might it, not be done but you're kind of like do i continue with this yeah i'm continuing not? with it i guess because it's only once a week and they're only like 20 20 minutes per episode oh it depends right i mean they haven't this was 40 minutes long i think really just oh really yeah. oh wow oh i didn't even notice it i guess it like blew by yeah yeah, I'm sticking with mine too. I'm going with six. I'm, <laughs> I might abandon this one. I'm not too sure. Okay. But it sounds like you won't. So you'll give us the Mandalorian updates. Yeah. Yeah. But if, if it gets all plot twisty, I'll, I'll jump back in. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. Yeah. It seems like, yeah, it is designed for like nostalgia feel. Yeah. Moment. Versus like, like I don't feel like. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel like there's anything that's like revolutionary in it. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Okay right yeah. it feels like very throw even when he's like facing off against the rhino mm-hmm. remember it was like uh it was like <laughs> yeah you know what i mean it was yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, when yeah. i was watching i was like oh it's kind of like lame combat well it, yeah it yeah, reminds me of um i know i said this to you like not on the podcast before but like um it reminds me of the old mortal combat tv show oh yeah you, yeah, you yeah, never yeah, saw yeah. that but no. it's like You're so basically that. it was like it was just like this. It was like a mini series of like using the Mortal Kombat characters. Do you <laughs> okay. remember that like really good one that they used? They created like the the short the shorts the, one on the web YouTube? shorts. Yeah. Did yeah, I remember those that? ones. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I finished that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you did. But I finished that, I believe. Yeah, those those are pretty cool. It kind of reminds you of that. It's like we're mm-hmm. we're going to those like mini series things. It does Marvel. Oh, I'm sorry. Does uh, Disney own? anything else that might be coming down the pipeline that'll be interesting i mean them except for like yeah all right so there's they own marvel so i know there's like the falcon movie coming out a uh, show coming out yeah there's Bucky. a couple of uh, yeah there's a couple of those shows coming out that and i think but like aside from marvel is there anything else like so there is the, that no they were saying there is like a video on the disney plus explaining some of the shows that are coming no way okay cool of the, of the marvel and uh there will be like cartoon ones as well oh of marvel some of the cartoon ones will be there and some of the ones they will be now like having a show for those characters and they will also be appearing in the movie you, you know that actually reminds me do you remember the the 90s um x-men yeah and I saw that was on there, right? Yeah. That was a great show. I might jump back into that. They have that. They have the Spider-Man. They have the Spider-Man? Whoa, no yeah. way. Yeah. That, wait, the Amazing Spider-Man? The one where it was like 90s and then yeah. it was like, wow. So that cool was... So that I was would a, check that out. Yeah, so they have all those there too. So there was that was the thing with acquiring Fox. They oh, bought Fox. Okay. So with see, that... See, see, them buying Fox, that's like yeah. another example of them owning like a giant yeah. piece of the pie. Yeah. So that's... So they planned everything out. So they got Marvel. They got um, uh, like they got yeah Fox right, and I think they got like some other ones. But like with all that added on, now they have like even a bigger. Well, buying Star Wars too, right? So with all that, they have like a huge collection. With they already have a huge collection, and then they added more to it, right? 
by doing this. So there will be always something new coming up mm. for that. And now that they own X Men, so they can start making X Men movies too. That's really cool. Add them into the world of, of the Marvel yeah. That would be so sick. Because like we're we're all wondering like what's gonna happen next with the um, MCU mm-hmm. MCU movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. They introduce X Men. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you recommend Disney? Uh, yeah. Or do you think it's still like too early in the game and just like oh, wait wait a little bit more? I mean, if you're into a lot of the nostalgia things from the past, I think it's good for you. It'll be good. Okay, let's rank them. So we have Amazon Prime, Crave, Netflix. Well, Crave is just for like Canada. Like we're looking at, we're mainly using HBO. So you can just say HBO. Okay, so HBO, uh, HBO, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney Plus. Rank them in your order. Go. In my order, Uh, best to worst or worst to best? Oh, the worst to best. All right, fine. I like how I said best to worst, and you're like, you know, I'm just going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. It's just easier to start from the low end. Okay. I would go low end is Prime. Yeah, I agree. Uh, But I do watch a lot of stuff from there. I've Uh, never touched Prime. Yeah. So there's quite a few shows that I did like. Is there any other streaming services? I heard about this box. This might be illegal. So. IPTV? You're talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's technically illegal. <laughs> okay, okay. Somebody said that, and I was like, what? They're like, yeah, you can watch any movie that's in theaters. I'm like, what? Uh, I thought it was the thing yeah, that Joe Rogan was talking about where it's like you pay like $4,000 a month or something like that, and you can get every, or 400 bucks a month, and you get like every yeah, movie. You're not paying 400 bucks a month. You're paying one time 100 bucks and get a box that does all that. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the, it's technically the gray Don't area, do it. but it's also. Don't do of, it. I think or it's technically do it. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've never, I just heard about like what? Technology's crazy now. But anyway, so, okay. Yeah. So, so rank them. So, uh, yeah, Prime is at the bottom end. Cool, I agree. What was the other ones? Uh, what do I have left? Disney Great. Plus, um, HBO, HBO, and, and uh, Netflix. Mm, this one is tough because I really like. Oh, I really like HBO. I Boy, think. I think. Sense. Okay, so like with what's available to watch, um, I'm gonna have to stay as Disney Plus. Is the so third worst? Is the third one? Wow. Okay. Yeah, but it's like it's a huge. It's not like the worst, but it's like you know. Just out of those three, you got to kind of pick something. Uh, then I'll say Netflix and then HBO. That's how I like okay, it. Okay, okay. So so if, so worst is uh, Amazon Prime. Actually, we've got to add Apple TV in there. I forgot about that one. But we don't have it, though. So it's I like, do have it now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so well, I've never seen it. So uh, uh, where would you place Apple TV? Uh, I, okay, so that'll go. I'll, I will say I will say right now with... Uh, with the type of content that they have, I'll put Apple TV still has a lot, lot to grow. So they'll be at the bottom. Then Prime. Okay. Then uh, stick with the rest of it, yeah. Disney okay. Plus, Netflix, HBO. I just like the content in HBO right now. Okay, cool. So from your perspective, if you have a low amount of money, but you want the bang for your buck, get HBO. Yeah. And if you... HBO and Netflix. I mean, they're pretty good if, you, if that's the two you need to and then work just, with. Yeah. And then just totally skip. No, like, HBO is your number one, so, like, yeah. this is your go-to. My personal opinion, though. Yeah, but, yeah. And then if you want to say, like, just, just don't even buy the Apple Plus. Apple TV, sorry. Um, yeah, well, it's technically free if you bought a new Apple product, so... Okay. And, and then... That's up to you. And then if... You have a little bit of money left over maybe look into getting netflix because you went hbo then netflix yeah. and disney plus so hbo is to, i think a bit more expensive than netflix and so. prime and then apple tv mm-hmm. okay mine if you go by price wise apple tv is the cheapest right now because it's free uh is that what you're saying? not just free even in its own yeah but it's also the last one on your list so it's like i right, yeah. just don't even don't even bother. So you're going HBO and Netflix. Mm-hmm. If you got if you got money, you got a little bit of extra money. HBO, and Netflix. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I, I like. Oh, fine. I'll go worst to best too. Uh, worst. <laughs> I don't even know about Apple TV, so I'm just gonna put Amazon Prime at the bottom. Okay. I'm just gonna totally disregard Apple. Okay, TV, okay. Because okay, I didn't okay, even know I, I was I, there. Okay. So okay. So Amazon last. Then I would put. Oh, I would put 
<laughs> I would put Netflix after Amazon. Okay. Then I would put Crave or HBO. Okay. And then I'd put Disney as number one. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I know. Totally, totally different, right? Yeah. So if you have the money, I'd say go Disney. I mean, actually, Disney is really good at it in his pricing point, too. I know, right? Point. They're like, really yeah. good in his price point. So it's the price point and, like, see, like, the thing about Netflix is, like, it's a bunch of, <laughs> my, my aunt said this is the best line, it's a bunch of movies you don't want to watch. So, like, there's a huge option there, but there yeah. are only, like, certain good ones. But the thing is, they're all, the, the, the Netflix has been here so long that they are always releasing something new every week. Totally, totally. So totally. there's always something for somebody. And there's like Hassan Minaj, there's like some good stuff on there. Yeah. yeah. But it's like... But the, it, the, when it, you say... I'm, I'm talking about like, there's yeah. so much, yeah. but the actual quality of it mm -hmm. is not very high. You can get some like really crappy shows on Netflix. Yeah, I mean, no, they will do like the normal blockbuster ones, the one that you saw the trailer for. That's like those... But but the blockbuster ones are all on the ones that I would watch are all on Disney now, which is like the Marvels and like Star Wars. No, no, I'm, uh, yeah, but I was talking about the one uh, with Ryan Reynolds. Like they will release so, those. Okay, but, but the, yeah, those but are like not one off. You know no, I, mean, like I meant not... like I meant like the same way. Like they will have the blockbuster ones, but like the, when they do those, they will be not like so many in one year, right? They'll have to do probably a couple a year. Right. Totally. Exactly. Exactly. Ones. So again, so like there's a lot. Yeah. But but. There's more quantity over quality on Netflix. Yeah. Right. Okay, so HBO, there's more quality over um, quantity on there. Like, there's a lot of good shows. You know, Chernobyl's on there, Succession. Yeah. Um, Game of Thrones is on there. You can also find, like, really old-school movies that are really good. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? The quality of their movies, even though there isn't that many, they're all really good. Yeah. So that's why I like it. So the quality is there, but the quantity is not. Yeah. And then Disney is just like quantity. They have well, they have quantity and quality because yeah. they have all like the hits. Yeah. So the thing with them is now like this really affects the only thing you don't have is the shows. Yeah. Like the the new shows, like yeah. this Mandalorian thing. It's like yeah. So that's so that. I'm I'm always looking for something new, right? So right, totally. That's yeah. why I put Disney where it is. Right. Um, but they have Simpsons too. Like Disney Plus has Simpsons. Yeah, right. They, so that's what I'm saying. Dogs, right? Qual so. Quality and quantity. Yeah, yeah. Like they have both. No, I know they have both now, but it, the thing is, I. Uh, uh, and it, the price point too is great. Yeah, the, the price point is really great. Uh, it this is going to really affect Netflix, I think, though. Uh, Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Because sure. right now you can see that there's a, there's a bunch of, um, uh, things that they're, uh, they're losing in the next month, like right. uh, that they're going to be airing. Uh huh. Or so that'll be, um, like interesting to see what happens because Netflix used to be like for kids generally, right? Right. right like right, when they right, yeah. now now you do have Disney Plus to kind of worry exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is their first time with an actual like competition, right? So let's see how this really goes. Yeah. Totally. So to reiterate, yeah. Um, from Vish's perspective, if you got some cash go hbo yeah and I then just, yeah. if you got a little bit more cash go netflix so you can get both of them yeah for me it's disney plus and hbo so we're pretty close on the hbo one yeah so i guess like the the one i guess if you look at like the average or the, the mm -hmm. mean uh it would be like just get hbo <laughs> for now if right. you really gotta yeah yeah it's a good one. All right, so movies coming out next week, nothing? I don't know. Yeah, nothing's been... The the Charlie's Angels one got so bad. I really wanted to see it. <laughs> Man. I really wanted to see it. Got like three, three point something on IMDb. I just can't do it. It's just a waste of time and money <laughs> right, at that point. Right, right, right. We need to watch Ford vs. Ferrari. So maybe we'll find oh, yeah, that's that. another one I forgot. Yeah. yeah. But all right, so stay tuned for next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to do anything else? Sorry. Um, price points eight nine nine. For what? For Disney, right? Uh, I think it's yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Take it easy. Peace.